I want to take a minute to demonstrate the use of announcements in Google Sites for you. You can see I'm here on my sample page of my Google Site and I'm going to create an announcements page and what the announcements page is is a stream of news and anytime I want to make an announcement to my class or to my community I can simply add this page and it will automatically create an RSS stream or an RSS feed that others can subscribe to so that people that you are who are in your audience can receive the information both on your website and then through an RSS feed reader as well. So let me demo this for you. What I'm going to want to do is add a new page. And when I click on new page, it comes up to ask me to um, name my page. I'll just call it get the latest. And what you'll see here is that I have to select a template. By default, it's going to create a new web page for me. But what I can do instead is I can choose announcements. And if I do that and choose the announcements feature, I can put it at the top level or I can nest it under uh, another site, but I'm going to leave it at the top le level for now. I'm going to choose create and I want to point out what happens here. If you look over here, I get a, a new page called get the latest. To the right, it's entitled get the latest, but there's nothing really on the page yet and it says there are currently no posts. If I click on new posts, I can create a uh, uh, a new post that will go inside of the get the latest page. So let me say, you know, welcome to class. I'm glad you're here. And I'm going to, uh, glad you're here. And I can just simply choose save. And when I do that, it, this will auto create a sub page for me. So here's my get the latest feed. Here is that get the latest page. It will take me a step up if I click on this link back to this page. But I have a message. Welcome to class. Posted a minute ago by Rich K. I'm glad you are here. Gives the latest information. Now if I step back up, you'll notice that it will be listed here as well. And subsequent posts will be listed here. But I can get the news here on the website in this particular announcement page. I can also you know, expand or shrink this branch, but I have the subscribe option. And if I was to use a reader on my mobile device or on my PC or browser, I could just simply click on that and copy this URL and subscribe to the posts on my page. So a really useful tool to deliver the latest information and provide some modern technology so that folks can keep in touch with you, your classroom and or your school.